This is Jeff Batika Show. What's cooking? What's cooking? Matika Show featuring Jeff Matika. What's your favorite app on your phone? What's your favorite app? I will say, I am a fan of the Instagram because the picture's worth a thousand words, but as we all know, uh, my hashtags have a thousand words, so I don't really subscribe to that, I guess. Very popular with the kids. Yeah, the kids seem to like it. If you weren't living in Oakland, where would you like to live? If you didn't live in Oakland, where would you like to live? Ooh, I like that. I like the Puget Sound. Um, North of Seattle, somewhere in the middle of there on an island would be kind of neat. But it might be a little rainy there during some season. I think I'm one of those guys that likes to dip a toe everywhere. It, this, this life works pretty good for me, only we do sometimes travel a little quicker than I'd like to travel. So. You dip the toe? I'd like to dip a toe. It's what a, does that mean? Huh? You never dipped a toe? No, I've dipped a toe. You've never. <laughs> did, 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 dip a toe. <laughs> I'd like to dip a toe. Uh, yeah, I think a pirate's life for me. So a little bit of everywhere. Very interesting. Very interesting. White Wolf, you got anything you'd like to chime in with here? Nope. Uh, how have you been supporting Billy uh, through his sobriety? You know, I think one of the things for everyone to understand is that it's, we've all been on the same journey together forever. You know, just understanding that your friend is going through something and you should be there to support them. Be a good listener and you know, be there when you need them and get out of the way when they need to get out of the way. And just be respectful, you know, with your friends. If your friends are trying to quit doing something or whatever, respect that. Don't give them grief about it. You know what? Their life is their life. And just, just support your friends, no matter what they're going through. What if they're extremely heavy? It's hard to support them. <laughs> Some fans uh, want to know the story behind the song J.A.R. Well, they're the initials of a friend of ours named Jason Andrew Relva. He was a really good friend of mine and Billy's when we were probably from like fifth grade to when we were 20. He, uh, yeah, he met with an early demise, unfortunately, and um, just took a little time to come to terms with that. And I'm good friends with his, his son, my godson, uh, Timothy Relva, is out there. And uh, he's a spitting image and it's haunting, but it's uh, amazing. And yeah, life goes on and that's that story. And other than, unless you're... Talking about a different kind of jar. You worked with Fender on designing your new bass amp. What was that like? Yeah, I sent them amps and basses and got very specific with exactly the sound I wanted to hear from it, the clarity of the amp and all this uh, other stuff. And then went in and just, you know, uh, wrote some letters to, to the heads of Fender and said, hey, you know, you guys make great products. Can you make this sort of thing happen any sooner and uh they play ball it's pretty good so I, which i never really expected to happen uh now we got these really cool looking the the beautiful amps that sound yeah that sound really good and i'm out rocking them on stage and i've yet to blow any up which i'm really excited about so white wolf blew something up just uh, a couple of hours ago oh, yeah. come on now why are you gonna do that well because i followed you in there and it was uh Brutal. <laughs> Times like that, I find a good book helps. I found a recording of your new bass amp. <laughs> Who are all these people? <laughs> <laughs> Who are all these people? I switch, now, now that's, that's just the sound of my new bass. I switched to a Steinfeld. <laughs> You're gonna want all that bass. <laughs> so, uh, I know you've done a few open mics. Do you ever see yourself pursuing a second career in comedy? Uh, only if not funny becomes the new funny. Wait. <laughs> it's working right now. 
<laughs> no, I just think it's I just think it's fun. It's like jumping out of an airplane. You know, sometimes it's nice to be completely naked, uh, metaphorically. Sometimes it's nice to do it actually. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. <laughs> What's it like having so many homies? What's it like to have so many homies? Ooh, you caught them. Uh, Mike Dirt's homies, man. If you're my homie, then you probably know me. Uh, I like my homies. They're my Instagram homies, and they just, uh, they're the ones that kind of chime into everything I'm doing, and they know what's going on at all times. And when I feel like I gotta uh, talk to somebody, it's nice to know that my homies are listening. <laughs> and they know that I listen to them, too. That's the key. Communication really is the key. Communication is. But I can't talk to all my homies. Uh, I do chime in and try and, like, write back to about 20 of them every time I... But, yeah, I'll get in there and I'll tag as many people as I can and talk to them. And it's, it's a good time. Yeah, throw something against the wall, see what sticks. Interesting. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life Something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life So, uh, you really get the crowd pumped up every night before the show. You've been, uh, working on this for a long time now. You look, uh, you look like you've, uh... You look like you smell. Yeah. Honestly, you smell like you look. <laughs>